Have a blessed morning, and welcome back brothers and sisters in Christ, to the Holy Rosary Today channel. Let us pause for a moment of reflection and spiritual contemplation, as we engage in today's Catholic morning prayers. Join us in seeking divine guidance and blessings, to commence our day. If you love what we are doing, please support us by subscribing, liking and sharing, and hit the notification bell, so you can stay updated whenever we have new videos. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Heavenly Father, I come before you this morning with a heart full of gratitude, thanking you for the gift of a new day. As I open my eyes to the light of this morning, I am reminded of your unfailing love and the assurance that I am your beloved child. Thank you for guiding me through the night and for the peace that surrounds me, even in the midst of challenges and uncertainties. Lord, in this quiet moment, I lay my heart before you. I acknowledge the turmoil and struggles that may lie ahead. But I know that with you by my side, I am never alone. You are my refuge, my strength, and my ever-present help in times of trouble. In every fear, every pain, and every trial. I trust that you are holding me securely with your righteous right hand, and you will deliver me from all evil. Lord, I ask that your Holy Spirit be at work in me, and in the world around me. Let your presence be felt in every corner of the earth, bringing light to the darkness and hope to the hopeless. Fill me with your peace, Lord, and grant me patience. As I wait on your perfect timing in my life, and in the lives of those I love. Teach me to surrender my worries and anxieties to you, trusting that you are in control. As I step into this day, Lord, I pray for your strength. Empower me to carry the burdens that come my way, knowing that I do not carry them alone. When the weight feels too heavy, remind me of your promise to sustain me. Help me to find joy in the midst of trials, and to rejoice in the hope that you give. For I know that you are faithful to right every wrong, and to bring justice where it is needed. May my life today be a reflection of your love and grace, Father. Guide my thoughts, words, and actions so that they bring honor to your name. Let me be a vessel of your peace, spreading kindness and compassion to those I encounter. And as I journey through this day, keep my eyes fixed on you, the author and perfecter of my faith. Thank you Father, for the blessings that await me in this day. I trust in your goodness and your provision. May your name be glorified in all that I do and may I walk in your light, holding fast to the hope that only you can give. In Jesus' name, I pray, Amen.
The Holy Gospel of Jesus Christ, according to St. Matthew, chapter 20 verses 1 to 16. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out at dawn to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with them for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. Going out about nine o'clock, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace, and he said to them, You too, go into my vineyard, and I will give you what is just. So they went off. And he went out again around noon, and around three o'clock, and did likewise. Going out about five o'clock, he found others standing around, and said to them, Why do you stand here idle all day? They answered, Because no one has hired us. He said to them, You too go into my vineyard. When it was evening, the owner of the vineyard said to his foreman, Summon the laborers and give them their pay, beginning with the last and ending with the first. When those who had started about five o'clock came, each received the usual daily wage. So when the first came, they thought that they would receive more, but each of them also got the usual wage. And on receiving it, they grumbled against the landowner, saying, These last ones worked only one hour, and you have made them equal to us, who bore the day's burden and the heat. He said to one of them in reply, My friend, I am not cheating you. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what is yours and go. What if I wish to give this last one the same as you? Or am I not free to do as I wish, with my own money? Are you envious, because I am generous? Thus, the last will be first, and the first will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, Amen. The Angelus Prayer The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary. And she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, Amen. Behold, the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me, according to thy word. Hail Mary full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, Amen. And the Word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth we beseech Thee, O Lord, Thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ Thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by His passion and cross, be brought to the glory of His resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord, Amen. Morning Prayer to the Holy Spirit Dear Holy Spirit, as I begin this day, I ask for your guidance and inspiration in all that I do. Help me to discern your will for my life, and to follow it with faith and courage. Give me wisdom to make good choices, and strength to face the challenges of the day. Fill me with your love, joy, and peace. And help me to share these gifts, with those around me. Use me as an instrument of your grace and mercy in the world. Please protect me from all that is evil. 
and help me to resist temptation, and to pursue all that is good. Above all, help me to love and serve you with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength. May my life be a reflection of your goodness, and grace to all those around me, Amen. Prayer to St. Maximilian Kolbe Heavenly Father, you ignited St. Maximilian Kolbe, with an ardent love for the Immaculate Virgin. And filled his heart, with passion for souls and compassion for others. We ask for his intercession today. That we may follow his example, of selfless devotion and unwavering faith. St. Maximilian, you dedicated your life to spreading the gospel and serving others, even in the face of great adversity. Inspire us to live, with the same courage and conviction. And to be instruments of peace and love, in a world that so desperately needs it. Saint Maximilian, who gave your life to protect others. Intercede for the unborn and inspire hearts. To cherish all life from conception to natural death. Grant us the wisdom and courage to defend the innocent. And to promote a culture of life. You, who endured the trials of imprisonment. Bring hope and comfort, to those who are incarcerated. May they find strength and peace in the love of Christ. And may justice and mercy prevail in their lives. Saint Maximilian, protector of families, bless our homes with peace, unity, and love. Help us to strengthen our bonds with one another. And to support each other in faith, reflecting the Holy Family's example. Guide those who struggle with addiction, and those who love them. May they find healing and hope, through the power of prayer. And the support of a loving community. Inspire us to be patient and compassionate, as we journey with them toward recovery. Saint Maximilian, filled with an unquenchable love for God and others. Teach us to love with that same fervor. May our hearts burn with love for the Lord, and for our neighbors. Motivating us to act justly, and live with integrity. Through your prayers, grant us the grace to work tirelessly for God's glory. Dedicating ourselves to the service of our neighbors. May we be ever mindful of the needs of others and may our actions reflect the love and mercy of Christ. Guide us on our journey of faith, that we may be transformed into the likeness of Jesus, even unto death. May our lives be a testament to the power of love and sacrifice. Drawing others closer to the heart of God, Amen. Daily Offering to the Immaculate Heart of Mary O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and suffering of this day. In union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass, throughout the world. I offer them for all the intentions of your sacred heart. The salvation of souls. Reparation for sins. The reunion of all Christians. I offer them for the intentions of our bishops, and of all apostles of prayer. And in particular, for those recommended by our Holy Father this month. Prayer in honor of the Queenship of the Blessed Virgin Mary. O Mary Immaculate Queen, look down upon this distressed and suffering world. You know our misery and our weakness. O Thou who art our Mother, saving us in the hour of peril. Have compassion on us in these days of great and heavy trial. 
Jesus has confided to you the treasure of his grace. And through you he wills to grant us pardon and mercy. In these hours of anguish, therefore, your children come to you as their hope. We recognize your queenship, and ardently desire your triumph. We need a mother and a mother's heart. You are for us the luminous dawn which dissipates our darkness, and points out the way to life. In your clemency obtain for us the courage, and the confidence of which we have such need. Most holy and adorable Trinity, you who did crown with glory in heaven the blessed Virgin Mary. Mother of the Savior, grant that all her children on earth may acknowledge her as their sovereign queen. That all hearts, homes, and nations may recognize her rights as mother and as queen. Mary Immaculate Queen, triumph and reign, Amen. Prayer of Surrender to Jesus Heavenly Father, I completely surrender all my life to you. I adore you, for you are mighty and all-powerful. Worthy of all my praise. As I kneel and worship to you, Lord. Sometimes I am so overwhelmed by what is going on around me that I am lost for words. By the working power of the Holy Spirit, I know that all I need to do is call on the beautiful, sweet-sounding name of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you for that privilege. Take Lord, and receive all my liberty. My memory, my understanding, and my entire will. All I have and call my own. You have given all to me. To you Lord, I return it. Everything is yours. Do with it, what you will. Give me only your love, and your grace. That is enough for me, Amen. Consecration Prayer to the Blessed Virgin Mary O Mary, Virgin Most Powerful and Mother of Mercy! Queen of Heaven and Refuge of Sinners, we consecrate ourselves to Thine Immaculate Heart. We consecrate to Thee, our very being and our whole life. All that we have, all that we love, all that we are. To Thee we give our bodies, our hearts and our souls. To Thee we give our homes, our families, our country. We desire that all that is in us, and around us, may belong to Thee. And may share in the benefits of Thy motherly benediction. And that this act of consecration, may be truly efficacious and lasting. We renew this day at Thy feet, the promises of our baptism, and our first Holy Communion. We pledge ourselves, to profess courageously. And at all times, the truths of our holy faith and to live as befits Catholics, who are duly submissive to all the directions of the Pope, and the bishops in communion with him. We pledge ourselves, to keep the commandments of God and his Church. In particular, to keep holy, the Lord's Day. We likewise pledge ourselves, to make the consoling practices of the Christian religion. And above all, holy communion, an integral part of our lives. In so far as we shall be able so to do. Finally, we promise Thee, O glorious Mother of God and loving Mother of men, to devote ourselves wholeheartedly to the service of Thy blessed cult, in order to hasten and assure, through the sovereignty of Thine Immaculate Heart, the coming of the Kingdom, of the sacred heart of thine adorable Son. In our own hearts and in those of all men. In our country and in all the world, as in heaven. So on earth, Amen. Act of Faith O oh my God, I firmly believe that you are one God, in three divine persons. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I believe that your divine Son, became man and died for our sins. And that he will come, to judge the living and the dead. I believe these, and all the truths which the Holy Catholic Church teaches. Because you have revealed them, 
who are eternal truth and wisdom, who can neither deceive nor be deceived. In this faith, I intend to live and die, Amen. Act of Hope O Lord God, I hope by your grace, for the pardon of all my sins. And after life here to gain eternal happiness, because you have promised it. Who are infinitely powerful, faithful, kind, and merciful. In this hope, I intend to live and die, Amen. Act of Love O Lord God, I love you above all things. With my whole heart and soul, because you are all good and worthy of all my love. I love my neighbor as myself for the love of you. I forgive all who have injured me, and I ask pardon of all whom I have injured, Amen. St. Michael the Archangel Prayer O Glorious Prince St. Michael! Chief and Commander of the Heavenly Hosts! Guardian of Souls, Vanquisher of Rebel Spirits! Servant in the House of the Divine King, and our Admirable Conductor! You who shine with excellence and superhuman virtue, deliver us from all evil! Who turn to you with confidence! And enable us by your gracious protection! to serve God more and more faithfully every day. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls, Amen. Morning Offering to St. Joseph Receive me, dear and chosen Father, and the offering of every movement of my body and soul, which I desire to present through thee, to my blessed Lord. Purify all. Make all a perfect holocaust. May every pulsation of my heart be a spiritual communion every look and thought an act of love, every action a sweet sacrifice, every word an arrow of divine love, every step an advance toward Jesus, every visit to our Lord, as pleasing to God as the errands of angels, every thought of thee, dear saint, an act to remind thee that I am thy child. Accept each little devotion of the day, though replete with imperfection, and offer it to Jesus, whose mercy will overlook all, since he regards not so much the gift as the love of the giver, Amen. Morning Offering of St. Therese of Lisieux This morning, I dedicate all my actions to you, my God, with the intention of bringing glory to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. I long to consecrate every heartbeat, every thought, and even the simplest tasks, by connecting them to his boundless merits. I also seek to make amends for my sins, by offering them to the furnace of his merciful love. Furthermore, I implore from you, my God, the grace to carry out your holy will perfectly, both for myself, and for those dear to me. I am willing to embrace the joys and sorrows, of this transient life out of love for you so that, in the end, we may all be reunited in the eternal bliss of heaven, Amen.
Morning Prayer for Repentance and Salvation Loving Father, examine my heart and reveal my sins to me. Grant me the awareness to recognize them, and the strength to repent. Father, purify me from both the sins I know, and those hidden from me. Help me eliminate them entirely, preventing their recurrence. Heavenly Father, empower me to overcome the intentional and unintentional wrongs in my life. Grant me victory over these shortcomings. Lord, I understand that the thoughts in my heart impact the words from my mouth. Therefore, I implore you to cleanse my heart, ensuring that my words come from a pure and pleasing place. Lord, I am grateful that you seal, sanctify, and empower me. You are my guide, my teacher, and you pray through me. Help me to join forces with you, as I use your word to pray for the salvation of my family, friends, and co-workers. Make me attuned to your promptings, and teach me how to collaborate with you, in praying your word over those who are seeking you. May my prayers be aligned with your will and may they be a source of hope and transformation, for those who need your salvation. Mighty Lord, you are my provider, protector, and refuge. Only you can forgive my sins, and renew our everlasting relationship, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you so much for joining us, in today's morning prayer before you start your day. If you enjoyed what we are doing, I invite you to share it with the people that matter to you. I also invite you to pray today's Holy Rosary. We'll add the link in the description below. Once again, thank you very much friends for praying together, and I hope your day is fantastic, and filled with the grace and peace of the Lord. I look forward to praying with you again in the next prayer. Until then, God bless you and may you find joy in Jesus.